Welcome back to the channel and today you join me abroad once again. I wanted to open today's video with something that I use an awful lot. A lot of the time when I go on a trip like this one, we'll see what I'm doing here. I will often try and tie in other things to do with Ianthi and myself and make arrangements around the press trip. And I always use an app called Solar Trip. You can book flights from over 800 airlines and accommodations in more than 200 countries. They offer 24 seven high level customer support that helps me resolve any issues or uncertainties. They've got a really customer centric approach so it means that if plans change or I need to edit something or I need to change things There's someone on hand to help out and they're really really focused on that customer experience It's particularly useful for me because I really don't have time to go fishing around the entire time to try and find unique and inspired stays They suggest these for me. I'm able to book something that's tailored to my needs They've got a huge range of them on there and they've also got AI assisted customer care as well. So if I've ever got any issues, it's super simple to sort it out. Not only that, but you can pay with crypto. So for those crypto people out there, you can also pay for your trips with crypto on Solar Trip. So on Google Play and on the App Store. So make sure you go and download it. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment and make sure you go and have a play around because I really haven't given you enough detail on it. There's so much more to it and you've got to go and have a play around. So if you're into booking flights and accommodation, you're a busy bee, you're a business traveler, particularly like me, and you're all over the place, make sure you download the app and check it out. You will not regret it. The link is right there. Let's crack on then and let's find out what I'm doing here. So let's hit the intro. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to South Africa. My first time here, Ianthi's first time, Ianthi's back on the channel. We are here today with Audi to celebrate the launch of the revised Q8. We have got brand new colors, brand new additions, brand new tech, and brand new design in the new Q8. We've also got an SQ8 here as well. So we're gonna go for a drive, but I just wanna take you for a little tour of where we are first and foremost, because the scenery here is incredible. And if you haven't been to South Africa, specifically Cape Town, that's where we are, you really got to try it out because it's absolutely incredible. We've been told for years to come here and we were like, yeah, we'll get to it. It's on the to-do list. Uh, but fortunately, thanks to Audi, we are here and it's an incredible place. So you really must check it out. Anyway, we'll go for a little tour, then we'll get in the cars and we'll go for a little drive. So up here then, we are actually at a vineyard. You'll all know that South Africa is famed for its wine. So we're in an area called Stellenbosch. Probably pronounced that wrong, but it's absolutely incredible. So, so cool. So nice. Are you having a nice time? Lovely time. We've been looking out for all night. We have. So yesterday we went to the Cape of Good. We'll actually go into that when we go driving. We'll go into where we Show went. Our pictures of the penguins. Yeah, we've seen penguins. It's absolutely nuts. So this is our little decking up here. We've got another car down here, another Q8 being filmed by some chaps down there. The international media launch has been out here and we've been lucky enough oh, to be invited. So so lucky. Right. This then is the new. Q8. This is a new colour for the Q8. This is called Sakir Gold. It looks almost a flat sand colour from a distance, but as you get closer, you can see there's actually a gold fleck in that paint. It is a stunning, stunning colour. And at first when they said Sakir Gold, I thought, well, that's going to look awful, but I actually think this is my favourite colour of any new production car. It's so, so good. We've also got, well, we'll start at the front. Around the front then we have a new front apron design. You can option it in black or you can option it in the aluminium colour, which we'll get onto on the SQ8. But the major headline here, apart from this incredible black mask, the updated black mask, which makes it look wider and sportier, you've got these incredible Matrix HD headlights with an additional laser in them as well. They're absolutely incredible. You can put them into four different signature lighting arrangements. And coming around the back then, a lot of tech has gone into them. We'll bore on about those in the car as well. Around the back, you've got this new OLED rear light arrangement as well with actual proximity sensors which will tell people when they're too close to your car and when there's actually anything behind you they will light up and dot along and they've got a different arrangement to let people know that you are too <laughs> that they're tailgating which is absolutely amazing and very definitely needed on british roads because nobody knows how to keep their distance on british motorways do. you do but have you ever driven on a motorway no there we go but you would you would do though if you drive if you drive on a motorway presumably anyway it's absolutely incredible and um yeah everyone loves the light show on the previous q8 so you're definitely going to enjoy that this is the sq8 then it boasts 507 brake horsepower north 60 in just over four seconds and as you can see it is optioned with the aluminium pack that i was talking about before and you may remember the original sort of s cars had you could tell that they were because they had the aluminium wing mirrors and all the aluminium bits around the outside 
and this is no exception. Audi are kind of bringing it back almost and harking back to the, I think it's the original S3 that they first did that on and it looks absolutely amazing. New also for the new Q8 and SQ8 are these wheels. These are 23s and they are unbelievable forged wheels. Uh, not a wheel that you want to meet with a curb, but they are brand new and they're 23s and they just look incredible. And I must say, we drove this yesterday and usually 23s with low profile tires and SUVs, usually I think, uh, I don't know, I think that's gonna defeat the point. It's gonna compromise ride comfort but it was just wafting around all over the place. You've obviously got stability control with the SQ8 and you've also got amazing adaptive air suspension. So it wafted along like a Range Rover. We were very happy in there, were we not yesterday? It was, it was comfortable, I loved it. Very we nice. We driving yesterday. We did indeed. Six hours? Six hours of driving, yes. So a, a thorough test around the Cape of Good Hope, looking at ostriches and all sorts. Uh, look at these two here. I think what they've done with the Q8 is amazing. It was already a very, very good looking car. You know Mahmood has got one and these two have just brought it to that next level. So we'll jump inside and we'll point at some of the tech. Inside the car then, the interface that you'll know and love. Hello, you're already in here. It's got matte wall carbon. Yeah, so we've got new finishes available on here. So you've got matte wall carbon, which some of you will recognize from the RS6 performance that we filmed out in San Fran, um, but you've also got um, a silver wood finish and also silver aluminum with a new uh, silver line within it. It's a kind of lovely detailing and just little, little pick-me-ups. Also, the assistance functions in this car have been updated as well. So those that are familiar with this system, you've got some really, really clever updates to your, uh, basically awareness around the car and the computer's knowing what's going on and keeping you nice and safe. There's also other different options available in this with new contrast stitching and stuff like that. So have a little play around on the configurator as well. And if you spot any other differences, do let me know. And I think it's time to go and find our car because our car is up there in a different spec to these. Should we go for a drive? Let's go. Time then to jump in our very own car. So you can get a TDI 50, which is 270, 280 odd brake horsepower. Nought to 60 is in six odd seconds. This is the diesel that we're gonna be driving. And it's got 22s, a revised 22 inch wheel design. You'll also notice one thing I didn't mention earlier is the revised rear apron design as well. A lot sportier, even on the diesel models. If it was my choice, I probably would go for the diesel. I'd probably go for the diesel. There is a TFSI uh, petrol variant available as well. 0 to 60 Sprint is cut down a little bit by about half a second, but I suspect with the mid-range torque in the diesel and the fuel economy, I'd probably go for one of them. I do like a wafty diesel. That's not to say that the SQ8 isn't absolutely bonkers, but I have got bonkers things in the garage, and I do think, certainly for my purposes, and for something that I Anthony would be driving because we are still car shopping for you. We are, and because I like this car. You lot. do like it. You've been very complimentary off camera yeah. yesterday when we were traveling around. Enough waffle then, let's get driving. It's got a slightly different interior as well, cream seats, so let's, uh, let's behave ourselves in here. Dog, dog friendly in these seats. It's not, and this doesn't have a pan roof, but that will be an option when you come to configure one. Right then, let's get going. Let's get on the move. So this is also, same with the petrol option. In 700 also, meters, oh God, turn that's left, gonna get annoying, isn't then it? turn right. Yeah. Shut up. As I was saying before we got really interrupted, we've we shut her up now. Um, there is mild hybrid technology in this one and also the TFSI version as well. It's not really something you notice. It's not really something you can dip in and out of. You don't need to plug it in or anything, but there is a bit of torque filling from an electric motor in there as well. And you can definitely feel that mid range is uh, particularly punchy. This is amazing. Get filming out the front of there. Show them this. Yeah. Look at this scenery, guys and girls. I must apologize. One of my GoPros has um, gone walkies during this trip as well. And I also lost a laptop. I left my laptop oh, on the plane. This story. So I left my laptop on the plane. We're flying a uh, business with BA because it was someone else paying for the flights. We don't usually fly business. So it's uh, economy all the way. I got off, went through passport control, got to the hotel in South Africa and realized I'd left my laptop in my seat on the plane. So it's probably about two hours later by the time we finished messing around. Um, that was the moment It was, Yeah, was and I've got a lot of stuff on that laptop I need. Like it's not, I'll just buy another laptop. Like that was, it was life and death. Um, so we had an amazing taxi driver called Krish who was just unbelievable, went straight back to the airport. I had to go back onto airside, back through security, round the back of the airport. Um, security team there went looking for it and they found out that someone had handed it in to an office that was apparently shut. It was a massive saga basically. So the first, 
I would say six hours of this trip were complete chaos. But a bit of politeness, um, some of the locals helping me, and a bit of cash flying around got my laptop back. Um, so but none of them are going to be watching this. Yeah. Every. I, Everyone and their dog heard about this missing laptop. Yeah, I told everyone about it because it's, it's, you know, I was getting attention. It was a form of attention, wasn't it? <laughs> so I enjoyed it. Oh. Um, anyway, I got it back and I never thought I would do so. Fair play. I wouldn't have held out much hope of getting my laptop back at Heathrow, um, let alone in another country. So fair play. We got Kept it back. Airport, Thanks. Security, God. anyone involved in that. Absolutely amazing. Wouldn't advise it, but I did get away with it. Where are we going? Uh, we're going up here. Yeah. Uh, the other thing as well, a lot of people were saying when we went over here, and a lot of things you hear about South Africa, you, you always hear, oh, it's dangerous over there, it's dangerous over there. Yes, it is. In places, it is dangerous. Um, but before we came, we were told by people that know South Africa, if you stick to the places that are known to be safe, they are safe. And I must admit, we haven't felt under threat. There's been other countries I've been to where I felt much less safe than being here. And yeah. I'm, that's not, you know, obviously I'm sure I'm a bit naive in that sense, but mm. I haven't at any point felt unsafe. And I always thought it was a bit of a, you know, when people say like, oh yeah, I know the crime's really, really high, but it's an amazing place you should go. I've always been anxious to go. I was supposed to move out here when I was younger and I didn't go. Um, I now regret that. And yeah. I just think, what a place. This is incredible. You've got to keep your wits about you, but that's like anywhere you go. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's massive, massive inequality here. And some of the really nice, rich areas are only miles from places where people have absolutely nothing. And it is, it does take some adjusting to, yeah. to see that, to be honest with you. But if you're on the fence about coming here, it's absolutely incredible. Ultimately, tourism helps everything. So come over here, keep your wits about you, listen to locals. Be respectful. Be respectful. Um, and, you know, just stick to routes that you know. Like Audi, they've given us set routes. We went down to the Cape of Good Hope yesterday. Uh, we'll put that on the screen. So if anyone wants driving routes, uh, screenshot what's on the screen there. Uh, and those are amazing, amazing safe routes as well. Because we're in um, Land's cap at the minute. 70, 80,000 odd pound cars. Yeah. Um, and I must admit, some of the roads yesterday on the way back from Cape Good Hope, uh, around Misty Cliffs, some of the best driving roads and best scenery I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've been very lucky to go on lots of lots of these fancy trips. And even I was surprised. It was absolutely Mind blowing. top of the range. Yeah. Um, so yeah, big shout out to South Africa. And the uh, South African Tourism Board aren't paying us. I mean, no, they can if they I want wish to. I they would. Um, so yeah, I'd incredible, love to come back here. incredible place, and amazingly hosted by Audi. But this car, anyway, this is obviously the more sensible version. The SQ8 is a lot more fun, and it really corners very, very well. This thing is more of a wafter, and this is absolutely a Range Rover equivalent. This would be, to be perfect with you. for me. I'd it's love got the this 22s. Car. It's got slightly softer tyres, obviously, because there's more rubber on there. It's great. Absolutely the, great. The last Audi trip, we were car shopping for me, mm. and I remember I said I loved the car. I still haven't passed. However, I will say I have passed my provisional, and I am test ready now. You're so test I'm ready. I'm good to go. Um, it's just booking a test at the minute is a nightmare. But anyway, once I pass, which I will, I like this car. Is there anyone we can bribe to get a to get a test in a local centre? <laughs> Holler at me in my DMs because booking a. No, yeah, it's a nightmare. I wonder if slots for tests you can flip them. There must be some profit in there. Possibly. And if they do, that's probably why there's a problem because of scammy resellers. Yeah. yeah. What else to tell you about this car then? I think that's pretty much it. I've covered the exterior, I've covered the interior. The Q8, to be honest, was kind of class leading anyway. And this is just a revision to that. A really extensive, clever, detailed revision. The light technology went through a whole presentation about it. And the four signature um, lighting maneuvers you can do on the interface in here are absolutely incredible. We're not here in the nighttime driving around to show you. So I'll overlay some footage now of what it looks like, but um, it really is a party piece and I adore it, I think it's fantastic. And I do think that this is on the shortlist for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's slightly bigger than a McCann, it's got more road presence than a McCann, and the increased aggression actually, the looks on this new variant, um, the big, big hit for me. I love this car, I, would, I love this car. This I would spec car. it with a roof. Mm. It obviously has a roof, you can see it. That is a roof, better glass roof. Um, and I think that's quite common. A lot of the pre-production cars and the press cars that come out, the early cars to market, they don't have the roof. So we found that on the RS6 as well, RS6 Performance. Yeah. Um, those press cars didn't have it as well. And I uh, think that might like be to do with transit. I don't know. I like a sunroof. We do like a sunroof. I think then that 
is about that. Full specs and all the nerdy details obviously available on the Audi website and the configurator I'm sure is live by now as well. And I think colour we would go for is Sakir Gold. Oh yeah, that was amazing. Love that colour. Love yes. that colour. For now then, from a vineyard in South Africa, thank you very much for tuning Should in. Should we this not say about what we've been up to in South Africa? Oh Maybe yeah. You want to talk about so before we go then, other things to do in South Africa, we went to Boulder Beach, which has got the penguins on it. Got some amazing shots down there. Um, penguins in the wild, never thought I'd see that in my entire life. It was so We've done cute. That. They yeah. were so stinky, but they my God, Absolutely they were cute. stink. They were so cute. And they're quite bitey. If you like put your fingers near them, they will they will get used to you know, useful consumer advice. And we went yesterday to the Cape of Good Hope where you can see baboons. We yeah. did not see any, but one of the ladies with the Audi team did get chased by them. Um, well, someone else saw zebras, which I'm kind of gutted we didn't see. I still think he's making that up. We did see ostriches, um, yeah. which Tom thought it would be a really good idea if we like call it over to the car to take content with it. I had to point out that they're not the nicest of animals. Yeah, ostriches are a churn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Akash. we saw some amazing wildlife. I thought we saw capybaras, but Tom told me they're not. They're like now you looked it up. Man. What are they, what are they called? Uh, They've got these like fat rat cat things that apparently are rel relatives of elephants, just yeah. like knocking around in bushes. How weird. Mm. Uh, super cute though. It's just it's such an amazing place and I wish we could stay longer to be honest because I'd love to explore more and I definitely want to come back. We're literally here for a weekend. Literally just a weekend. Yeah, in and out, shake it all about. Stop. 11 hours each way. Us ever, no big deal. It's nap time on the way home. Yeah, we've got sort of red eyes on both sides, so we're sleeping both ways. So we are. It's actually pretty chill, and there's no jet lag because it's only two hours ahead here. I think it might only be an hour. Was it two hours? I think it's two hours. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty easy really. We've had the best time though, and I want to say a massive thank you to Audi because they have looked after us so much. Very amazing, Every much. single element has been thought through, and it's just been executed perfectly. Mm -hmm. A class, class act. I think that's it. But you'll notice that we're just cruising along here. Um, and one thing I would say, this, the diesel variant, the steering is a lot less um, reactive. It's very, very direct in the SQ7, as you'd expect. But if you want a cruiser and a wafter, this is, mm. this is absolutely brilliant. Mm. Agreed. We're just wafting along. It's got cooled seats, everything. I love this car. Very happy. Right, we're going to continue wafting. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out Audi, shout out the new Q8. Go and configure one, have a little look, test drive one, go for a little sniff around, poke some buttons, and uh, make sure you do the light show when you do. Ciao for now, guys. Bye. Thank you.